Amphibians. Have you ever sorted some of your things into different groups? Maybe you sort clothes by color or style, or your video games by category. Scientists do the same thing with animals and other objects. All animals, including humans, have a few things in common. They are living organisms. They need food and energy to survive, move, and grow. And they create more of their own, which means they have babies. Though they have a lot in common, there are also many differences between animals. When you see an insect, like a mosquito or a butterfly, you know that it's different than a fish. You also know that a cougar is different from a snake. Because of these differences, all animals are classified or separated into special groups. Some of these special groups include mammals or animals with hair, reptiles or creatures that have dry scaly skin, birds who have feathers and wings, and fish that have gills and live in the water. Some other groups that animals are classified in include warm-blooded, cold-blooded, vertebrates, invertebrates, and living on land versus living in water. Humans live on land. Even though you can swim, take a shower, and jump into the ocean, you cannot live and survive in the water because you need oxygen to breathe. You can only survive on land. Fish are the opposite. They cannot live on the land like you. They can only survive in the water. But did you know that there is one group of animals that can live both on land and in water? This group is called amphibians. In fact, the Greek word for amphibian means double life or two lives. There are about 7,000 species of amphibians living in the world today that can survive in the water and on land. You are probably familiar with some of these amphibians. Can you think of some amphibians that you might recognize? Here's a hint. Think of some animals that are green and often slimy. Ew! Did you think of toads, salamanders, newts or frogs? If you did, you're right! They are amphibians. You probably already know some things about frogs and toads. But did you know that there are many different types of both? Have you heard of the American bullfrog or the poison dart frog? What about the American toad or the tomato toad? Did you know that there are around 2,000 different species of toads and frogs in our world? Kind of makes you wonder where they're all hiding. Sometimes it's easy to mix up a frog and a toad. Here's how you can tell them apart. As adults, frogs have smooth, moist skin and longer legs than toads. While toads have dry, bumpy skin and short legs because they walk more often than they jump. Although toads and frogs are different, they are both amphibians because they have some things in common. So, what makes an animal fit into the amphibian category? Well, it's simple. They each have characteristics that are the same, like webbed feet. They also have backbones called vertebrates, just like you do but their backbones are much smaller than humans. Every group of animals have certain characteristics in common. Some of those characteristics are included in other groups too, like humans and amphibians both having vertebrates or backbones. However, because humans are warm-blooded and amphibians are cold-blooded, they cannot be in the same group even though they do share something in common. Cold-blooded means that an amphibian's body temperature changes. If it's 60 degrees in the air or the water where they are living, then their bodies adapt and also become 60 degrees. If it's 40 degrees, then they adapt to that temperature too. That's different than being warm-blooded. Humans are warm-blooded. That means that no matter what the temperature is outside, inside our bodies, the temperature always stays the same. Or 98.6 degrees. The only time it changes is when we are sick and our temperature goes a little up or down. Another trait of the amphibian group is that part of their life is spent on land, while the other part is spent in the water. 
They can breathe using gills while in the water, just like a fish. However, unlike a fish, they later grow lungs and legs, which help them live on land. Kind of cool! Another thing that sets amphibians apart is their skin. This is where the slimy part comes in. Ew! While slimy might seem gross to us, it's a very important part of being an amphibian. Adult amphibians must stay near the water to keep their skin wet. An interesting fact about amphibians is they don't drink their water. It's actually absorbed through their skin. And did you know that frogs can't live in salt water? The salt could possibly poison their insides as well as dehydrate them since their skin needs to stay moist. All amphibians come from soft eggs that kind of look like jelly. They go through a process called metamorphosis, which basically means they morph or change into something else as time passes. When amphibians are newly born, they look like fish with tails and gills. After a little while, they become tadpoles with two legs. The tadpoles change again and develop two more legs as well as a tail. They look like a small version of a frog, only with a tail. Finally, they become a full-grown frog. Though all amphibians have common characteristics, frogs and toads lose their tails when they reach adulthood, while salamanders and newts keep their tails when they become adults. Salamanders and newts look like lizards without scales. A cool fact about newts and salamander is, if they lose a limb, it will regenerate, which means it will grow back. Now that's pretty amazing. Another species of amphibian is called a Sicilian. Sicilians do not have arms or legs. They use their pointed noses and strong skulls to burrow through mud. They look like worms or snakes, maybe even a bit scarier, especially since some of them grow to be over four feet long. Amphibians live in a wide range of habitats. They can be found in or around streams, forests, meadows, ponds, lakes, swamps, and other damp or wet areas. Their diet includes spiders, beetles, and worms. Some frogs have a long sticky tongue they flick to catch flies, moths, and other insects. Amphibians come in all sizes too. The Goliath frog can grow to be 15 inches long and weigh 8 pounds. That's as big as my cat! While the smallest frog in the world is only about a third of an inch long. That's about as wide as your pinky finger. On the other hand, the Chinese giant salamander can be 6 feet long and weigh 140 pounds. Can you imagine seeing that in a swamp? Amphibians are interesting animals with some neat facts. Did you know that some salamanders keep their gills and that frogs swallow their food whole? There's much more that can be learned about these fascinating animals. So don't stop here. The next time you are near some water, see if you can spot some of these incredible creatures we call amphibians. Thanks for following Clarendon Learning. Be sure to subscribe. For more free resources, check us out at clarendonlearning.org.